How you all doing? Okay then, so in this video, as some of you probably remember, this was donated to me by Andrew, uh, another fellow YouTuber. His channel's called Bad Spikes, if you want to go and check his channel out. Uh, he says it's not working, he says it was working, he left it in the shed for a year or so or something like that. And when he tried it again it wouldn't work. So my task today is to try and bring this back to life so I can chop some wood up. For my shed burner down or up. So without further ado, let's go for a poo. Okay then, so I must say it's the first time I've ever had one of these. I've never used one before. I've used an electric one, but I've never used a petrol one. So, you know, it's a bit of a learning curve for me. Uh, I've had a quick look online, what the actual procedure is of how to start it, and what the actual procedure is to do when it don't start. And I think all you do is you pull the choke out, which is just there, put it on, put the switch on to on, then put your foot on that piece there, grab the cord, and pull it. But nothing happens. Uh, yeah, that's your petrol tank. And that's for oil. I'm not sure if it's for oil for the shade or if it's for oil that mixes with the petrol. I think it's probably oil for the chain because it's got a little picture of a chain on it. So I'm going to have to work out the mixture of the two-stroke oil and the petrol because I'm sure that's what you have to do. And uh, but before that we're going to have to figure out why it's not bloody working. And uh, the usual thing is when an engine doesn't start is check the spark plug for a spark. Okay, so this is like the top cover. You just unscrew it with this little flangey screw. And the spark plug should live underneath here, I think. Yes, that just comes off like so. I think that's the air filter, obviously. It looks okay. Uh, down there is the choke to make sure the choke's working. Yes, as you can see, the choke mechanism is working fine. Uh, there is a, like a primer thing there as well. There's petrol in it. You should pump it at least four times, and that should fill up with petrol. But nothing happens. So. Hopefully we've got a spark and there's just something to do with the uh, petrol pipe or something like that. So anyway, there's the spark plug. Let's pull the cap off. Get a suitable socket, which in my case is this one. <laughs> Hopefully it works. Screw out nice and easy. There we go. Yeah, it don't actually look too bad. It's dry. Yes, that looks okay. Golden brown. So what we do is stick it back in the cap, obviously. Put it on a piece of the engine if you can to earth it. Put the switch to on and uh, turn your light out actually, then you might see it better. A bit more dimness. Don't know if you can see the spark from where you are. Probably not. Probably wants to be that way around. 
Oh yes, it is sparking. I can see it. Hopefully you can see down there. I don't know if you can see that, but it is definitely sparky. So we've got spark. What next? Okay then, so next while the spark plugs out, I'll do the old pump test. Make sure it's switched off so I don't get no shocks. Did the old pump test over the hole. Let's check the compression. Can't really get it on there. Oh yeah, there's a bit there. Yes, there's compression there, definitely. So we've got spark, we've got compression. Uh, I think in the fuel tank there should be a filter. I've seen them online, take the filters out and clean them because they don't stop because they, there's no petrol going into the carburetor because the uh, fuel tank pickup filter is blocked. So let's have a look at that. Oh, that's tight. Oh, let's go just take that out. Now I can see down there that there's a filter. I can see loads of petrol too. Let's see if there's any metal on the uh, filter. If there is, this should grab it. Oh, yep, we grab some up. Oh yes, and that looks pretty really, really dirty. you can see it. So I've got to try and get that out, give that a clean. Yeah, that's going to be good, good, good fun. Let's try it with these little tweezers. Grab it again because it's disappeared. Gotcha! Perfect domingo. The pipe's not very long. Let's try and get the filter off. There she blows. Yeah, that feels pretty manky. Feel all the dirt on it, so I'll give that a good clean. Leave that there. This little nylon brush. Let's try it with that. Put the compressor on. Give it a bit of a blow job. Back on the rubber pipe. There we go, like so. Drop it back in there. Put our cap back on. This is the old fuel in there, so it might not start. But I'm just what I'm doing is I've just got to check it to see if the primer fills up with petrol. We shouldn't need to do it any more than four times according to the internet. Well, 
two, three, four. No, there's nothing in there. You could do that all day. It's just not priming for some reason. Okay then, so I've had a look around it. And I think this top body section comes off. There's a bolt there, a bolt there. And a bolt at the back. They're either flathead screwdriver bolts or this Torx star shaped thing. <laughs> and this fits, so I'll use this. Here we go. A bit rusty. Pull this off. Take the spot plug out. Oh yes. So that's easy enough. Oh, and already I can see a problem. Well, I don't know if it's a problem, but... You can see that pipe down there. That panel I've just took it, take it off has been squashing it. Oh, it's come off as well, I think. I don't know if it's a, a drain pipe or a breather pipe or what. Because there's still another pipe on this bubble thing. What's it called? Primer thing. Uh, yeah, there's still a pipe on that, so it doesn't come off there like I first thought. So, uh, investigate a bit more and I'll be back. Okay then, so I've had the carburetor off and uh, took the feed pipe off the carburetor. When I did press that it started to spurt through so it must be priming. Uh, or if you could hear all that banging outside. We have hot storm, what's it going on? Hopefully I don't get blown away in the shed before we get to uh, Storm Putin. <laughs> anyway, let's switch it on because uh, I don't think you could see the spark, but it's definitely sparking. Hopefully that's in shot and you'll be able to see the spark. Uh, there's where the spark will come, if you can't see it in the dark. So it's definitely got a little spark. Where are you? There we go. So yeah, it's got a lovely strong spark that uh, you could probably see it is in a right state. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all this back together, make another video because I haven't seen any of these Oregon. I'm going to say mower then. Uh, chainsaws on YouTube whatsoever. So I don't know whether they're a common mech or not a common mech, but all very British. But like I say, all the all the videos I've seen of these on YouTube are American. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that back together and then make a video of a complete strip down, checking the piston and everything else. Give everything a good clean when I rebuild it. So that's what I'll do. So yeah, there you go problems with the chainsaw <laughs> because there's no videos on YouTube so so if anybody else has got Oregon and they're like me they haven't got a clue what to do with it <laughs> we could both learn on the video of how to take it to bits and put it back together again so yeah that's it so simple as that Yes, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it's been useful to you. And uh, any questions or tips, please leave a comment down below. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching my video. Look after yourself, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.
I see you in another life, brother.